Okay, so lesson 10, um, domestic circuits and IV graphs. Okay, so I think IV graphs, we leave until uh, we're doing it on the, um, updating the notes, pretty straightforward. And we just want to have a very quick look before we go updating the notes at the uh, domestic circuits. Right, so the first thing we'll look at is power transmission. So transmitting energy from a power station to your house. Okay, so if you think of it, okay, so if you have a power station here, e.g. in a Scarra Dam, okay, you have a whole load of these cables going along, and here's your little house over here. And there you are, self-isolating. Okay, right, now. Okay, so if we want to transfer energy from here to here, we talk about transferring power. So remember, power is energy over time. So power is energy per second. So when we talk about power, we're talking about energy. So we're effectively transferring energy from the power station through all these wires to our house. We don't want to lose any energy on the way, okay? And we will lose energy on the way because we know that as current flows through a metal, it heats the metal, okay? And the energy lost Okay, the power loss, the energy per second, is I squared R. And when we, we looked at this already and we said the I squared R losses relate to the energy loss. So it's resistance to the wire multiplied by the current going through the wire squared. Now you might think copper wire has a very, very low resistance, which it does. Okay, so therefore the power will be small. Now the resistance could be very, uh, the resistance might be small, but if you're talking about 20 kilometers of it, suddenly the resistance will be significant enough. So to keep the power down, we need to keep the current down. If the current is any way large at all, the power lost in the wire will be large, okay? The birds will have nice warm feet, okay? But that's, that's no good to us, okay? Forget about the birds. We're not interested in the birds, all right, okay? All right, so power is equal. So to get the power loss, this is the energy losses. To keep that small, current must be small. Now, transmitting energy from here to here, remember there were three formulas. This is one that you really want to look at, okay? We have these three that we, we've already dealt with, okay? We can't use this one or this one, we're talking about transferring power, because to use either of those, we need to know the resistance of the circuit. And think about it, what's the circuit? The circuit is everything is in the power stage, everything our power station, everything on the way across, everything in the house. There is no way of measuring the resistance. So the only formula that is relevant to us when we're transmitting energy is that P is equal to VI. And if, we're, if, we're, if we want to keep P constant, in other words, the energy transmitted per second to be a certain value, okay, we need to, if we're going to make current small and we want to keep P the same, we're going to have to make V large. That's it, okay? We look at it in the, uh, in, in the, in the notes in a minute, but let's get clear on it. We want the I squared R heat loss to be small. I must be small. We want power to be constant, a power transfer to be constant. P is equal to VI is, is a constant. VI must be a constant. If I is small, V must be large. That's it, okay? That's it. Right, okay, so let's look. One second now, pause for and we're back, so let's very quick look at the, the domestic circuits. Okay, so remember, with domestic circuits, the first thing we need to be clear on is that current wants to flow to Earth. Okay, current wants to flow to Earth. And uh, if we have a problem, so let's say, let's take uh, a, a plumbing in a house. Okay, so we'll have a look in a second at, uh, at the hot water tank. Okay, so plumbing in a house. If the if a copper pipe goes live, somehow it gets uh, connected to the, so there's current in it, okay? That can be very dangerous, it can be deadly. Okay, so we want to reduce this fact, this possibility. So any metal components in a, in a plumbing are connected to earth, with an earth wire, they're connected to the ground. Okay, so if the, if the copper pipe becomes live, current flows through the earth, a large current loop through the earth wire, which has low resistance, a large current flows and it blows the fuse. Okay, it blows the fuse. Same thing applies, and we'll see it in a minute, with uh, uh, electrical devices which have a metal uh, casing. The metal casing is connected to earth, okay? Same for the same reason. If current, if, if the metal casing goes live, in other words, if current is flowing in the metal casing, the current will flow through the wire, okay, to earth. That wire is a very low resistance, and therefore a very large current will flow, and it will blow the fuse, or blow the, or trip the mini miniature circuit breaker, either one or the other. Okay, and then well, we've mentioned miniature circuit breakers and, uh, and fuses there, and there are three types, remember, miniature circuit breaker, residual current device, and fuse. Okay, so we have a fuse, and a miniature circuit breaker, NCB, miniature circuit breaker. Now, both of these work in the same way. If a certain current is exceeded in a circuit, the fuse melts, 
okay because remember a current in a wire gets hot so if it gets above a certain value it melts okay so the fuse melts or okay in the case of magnetic circuit breaker same idea but it just trips the trips the switch and turns it off the advantage of a miniature circuit breaker over a fuse is that you just when you've got problem solved you just flick it back whereas with a fuse you have to find a new fuse all right you'd find fuses in um in uh, plugs as well all right third type then is a re residual current device okay an rcd and this is different okay the way rcd works is okay you have a device current in and current out now the current in should be equal to the current out okay the current going in should be equal to the current going out if it's not something funny has happened here then we could have a problem so they measure the current going in the current going out if there's a if there's a difference of more than something like 30 milliamps if there's a small difference it turns off the circuit it happens instantly okay almost instantly it protects lives that'll save you by the time the minister circuit breaker the trips or the fuse melts you would have been electrocuted it, it won't it won't save you in that okay but a, a residual current device will save you no the minister circuit breaker and the fuse can save your life because if that if the problem is resolved okay uh, it could cause a heating effect somewhere and it could cause the, the house to go on fire so that could be a secondary problem so there are the three of those so bonding and earthing and then you have your residual current device mineral circuit breaker and fuse they are the five bits that we need to know about domestic circuits okay